starting over. I do. Al, how did this start? How old were you? And how did it start? To Gosh, the... it started when I was just a little fetus, David. It was many, many years ago, you know, and when the Earth's crust was still warm, I guess. I might have about 14 or 15, just a regular teenager, making up songs in the car as uh, my folks drove me around, and uh, I guess I just never grew up. It's something I've always done. Did you have a desire to record straight, as it were? Did, did that ever occur to you? Um, not, not exactly. <laughs> I've I always been into uh, the, the silly stuff and the satire, and uh, I think there's enough people in the world that do uh, serious music. I like to be a little different. Where does the sense of humor come from? How much of it came from your family? I mean, you, I mean, you look at things just <laughs> tilted just a little bit, which is great. But how much of that came from home? Is that the kind of sense of humor that's it, alive hard, at home? It's hard to say. Uh, my, my upbringing was... Uh, Pretty, pretty straightforward, and I had a you know very normal childhood. I guess when I went to college, I uh, got away from home and got a little strange. And then, of course, I guess the boysenberry yogurt baths help uh, bring out the weirdness a little bit too. Hey, what about permission? Do you have to get permission from all of the people you spoof, like Madonna or sure. Michael? Yeah, yeah, we do go to uh, all the original writers uh, beforehand and give them the ideas and get their feelings on. It. We don't want to step on anybody's toes. Right. So we know that you're cool and they're yeah. cool with it. And, and I can sleep well at night now, too. Right, yeah, exactly. All right, Our Love's in Jeopardy. Whose record is that? That's Greg Kinn. Greg Kinn. All right, you have redone this and call it... I Lost on Jeopardy. I Lost on Jeopardy. All right, watch, everybody, and watch for Don Pardo and watch for Art Fleming. That's not all. You also made yourself look like a jerk. Now, what's the key to doing these? I mean, you've got to look... What do you look for? A piece. Um, generally, I look for uh, a song that's upbeat, a song people really are familiar with. It has a very uh, uh, um, uh, well-known bass line like uh, My Sharona or I Love Rock and Roll. You know, something you hear, turn on the radio over for and two over seconds, and, over. and you, you know, know exactly what it is. Some, maybe something you're getting a little tired of, that also helps a lot. Right. And is there a key to how you approach it? I look for some kind of lyrical or musical hook, something uh, I can take off on. Uh, find something that's very identifiable and then make a little left turn somewhere. What's next? What's I thought I'd go back to the hotel and maybe take a shower. <laughs> I don't know. It's a busy life, David. You know, I'm a busy right. guy. Especially when you're in demand. Right? <laughs> have you got, is, there, is there something done that's about to come out? or Have you, have you finished something that we haven't? Uh, well, there won't be another album for a while because my new one just came out, but I'm working on a long-form video, uh, a Showtime special. I've got a book coming out at the end of the summer, so I'm keeping busy. Super. Now it's great to meet you. Oh, you too, David. Gosh. <laughs> Weird Al Yankovic. By the way, headlining Greek Theater, Los Angeles, July 2-6 in that big, beautiful theater in L.A. <laughs> March Theater. We'll be back right after this. Five minutes out right now.